Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to access a Docker container application from a web browser. You might have created a container from an image, but after creating it, when you try to access the application from the browser, you might have got an error saying that server address not found. Now, in this video, we'll see how to access that container application. In this video, we'll be using a uh, image, HTTPD image. Our uh, HTTPD is a server daemon. It's a, it was created by Apache Foundation. It's a piece of code that listens to the network requests and responds to them. And it's open source and it is used in hosting websites. To access the container from browser, we need IP address of the Docker virtual machine, the port number which we have exposed the traffic will be directed through the port which have been exposed by the virtual machine and it will redirect that traffic to the port that has been exposed by the container which has been created from the HTTP image. So let's write search for docker and click on docker quick start terminal. Here you have to note the IP address of the virtual machine on which your docker is running. So you'll be needing this to access the image from your browser. I mean to access the instance of an image that's your container application from the browser. So first let's try it without mapping the ports. That is, I'll try docker. Okay, so first we need to have the HTTP image to create an instance from it. Uh, I have already downloaded the image. We can download it by simply typing docker pull httpd. Since I have already downloaded, I will not do that. I will simply check whether my image is there or not. By typing docker images. You can see here I have httpd image. So once we are done with that, let's try to run run and now I'll type the image name httpd when you press enter you can see now the now we have successfully created a container instance from the httpd image but we uh, now it's running inside the virtual machine on port 80 so if we try to go here and Try with the IP address of our virtual machine. Let's copy that and paste it here and try to access port 80. Okay, you can see. See, it's seeing site can't be reached because we can't access the container instance port directly. So we need to map that port to the port of the virtual machine. So let's go here again. I'll stop this instance. Now I'll type docker run. But this time I'll specify a parameter, say named hyphen p. Okay. So uh, you here we have to specify two port numbers. First is the port you want to map, which you want to map to your container port. Let's for example, I'll write 9050. You can write anything. I'll write 9050. Then the port in which your uh, HTTP container is exposed. So let's type it is 80. By default, HTTP will be always exposed at the port 80. So we'll type then. Now we'll type the name of the image. I'll click to enter. You can see. It's running now. Now you can simply go to your browser. We have already copied the address of the virtual machine in which our Docker is running. It's a Docker virtual machine. And now simply type the port which you have mapped. It is and work. You can see it works. It is working in a way that. Uh, when you type uh, your 
IP address of your Docker virtual machine from the port which you have mapped. Uh, basically, it will open port 9050, and all the traffic from port 9050 will be redirected to the container instance of uh, which you have created from the HTTPD image. It's exposed at port 80. So this is how you can access Docker container application from your browser. Thank you for watching.